What are we working on next in Bernie's garage? Something that's not in my garage. <laughs> <laughs>
right? And then you normally just buy them, is like, right? Yeah, and then and I then, get this text message. Yeah, and then we were kind of talking about it, and then I was like, shoot, I think I'm just gonna buy it. And so I think this was like 350 maybe? Mm. 300, 300 or 350. Yeah. And it had free shipping, and wow. I was just like, okay. So I actually wanted to do a black. I was gonna do a black one because I don't have a black bike. I wanted the pink one. Remember? Yeah, you were kind of like. I was gonna. At, you were looking. I at, was. I was right? gonna pull them, but yeah, sold out. So. so they didn't have like all of the sizes and all of the colors. Yeah. And then I pulled the trigger on this. I didn't say anything to Bernie. Good. No, and you should I'll, do that to me more. <laughs> and this often. is like when you came over today. I was like, I hope you know peek under the under no. the sheet because I was like. I wanted to catch your, I wanted to see your face when you saw this instead of that. When you edit this, <laughs> it's gonna be good, my expression, because uh, I kind of had shown. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. what? Because yeah. I saw that and I was like, nah. <laughs> Is that a different I held, arrow? I held the other frame and it was like, it wasn't white. <laughs> That's true, because I showed we it was, to you. We were talking we about we looked at paint it. scheme. I, I pulled it out, and it's the one, the Harrow is, has that really kind of funky, like black, silver, and like a yellow. I don't know what it is. It's, yeah. Nobody really likes that colorway. But so. I should have known by looking at this, but it's like never jive. No, but because then, when we were talking about it, I did want to buy, I did want to make the, you know, I was telling you I was going to, Try and get it powder coated. Yeah. And someone else was gonna paint it. Yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. gonna go with like a black and blue and yeah, a white. Yeah. So I was like thinking, okay, maybe this is pretty safe because I kind of mentioned that. But, yeah. But anyway. Yeah. So we're building a racing next. It's a 26 inch um, in white, as you nice can see. Nice though. This this thing is beautiful. And it's pretty light too. I was really kind of surprised at how light this way. thing is. How know? long did it take to get here? It was pretty fast. Oh yeah. I actually got here really fast. Like within a week. They never stick I them on the barge. No, they did not stick it on the Hallelujah. barge. Hallelujah. And they could have because it was free shipping. Right. right. They could so, have screwed you over. Yeah. A lot of times when people send stuff to Hawaii, the cheapest way is to put it on the boat. Right. And then, yeah. but then that takes like weeks. And this one did not take weeks. It got here, you know, pretty quickly. So I was really surprised. Free shipping. Jumped on it. And now we got a, now we got a white 26. Now, the colorway that I'm thinking of is definitely blue because you know i'm a i love my blue mm -hmm. right i do not want red though and so i'm not doing a red white and blue bike so sorry tyler from texas <laughs> um <laughs> i was i actually told tyler about this he I excited told him, huh i told him i was gonna like surprise you and yeah and tyler this is tyler's favorite bike tyler you know a nice he is mean you check him out go look um rad dad bmx Nice. He's on Instagram. He built a beautiful race ink. Um, He'd show them too, yeah? He put it in, uh, yeah, I believe he put it in a show. He wrote it uh, in Texas. We, we went on the ride out and he was riding it. I mean, this is a beautiful bike. He yeah. definitely uh, put a lot of thought and a lot of effort into that. And when he was asking me about the colorway that I was going to go with, I said, I'm not doing a red, white, and blue bike. And he was like, why? What's wrong with red, white, and blue? <laughs> you know, that's the color of my bike. And I was like, Nothing against it, yeah, nothing yeah, against yeah. the whole USA, whatever. You know, I just don't want to do a red, white, and blue bike. Yeah. So I'm looking at when I pulled when I pulled this out of the box, I was like, okay, I don't like the stickers already because I don't want red in there. So I'm gonna have to get new decals made mm. without the red. I just don't want the red in there. I have to say though, I mean, the white is really clean. Is it like straight white or yeah. get pearl inside? I, you know, I don't know. I don't think it has pearl. Like um, Monza? Yeah, like the Monza one. I don't think so. I, ha I honestly have not pulled this out in the sun. Uh -huh. So I don't even know. Like I pretty much opened the box the other night. Yeah. I had it in my box in my office. It's uh -huh. been in there for like <laughs> weeks. And I haven't even, I didn't even crack open the box. And then I opened it up and then <clears throat> haven't even taken it outside. This is the first time it came out of my house. Wow. Since I got it. They offered this in 29 too, yeah? They also had a 29. With the same price. They also had a 29 for the same price. Now, the fork is going to be in chrome. And I thought about powder coating it to match this. But Tyler suggested, no, leave it chrome. Because then everyone is going to know that you built this bike versus buying it. I guess when you buy a bike from Race Inc. It's all painted. They, they color match the fork. Oh, with really? The, with the frame. Yeah. And so he said, if you, if you keep it chrome, 
then people are going to know, hey, you kind of did that as opposed to, you know, buying it built. Makes so, sense. It makes sense. So I think we'll do, we'll have chrome accents in there. I do have some chrome bars, mm. um, some S&M horror bars that I, that I like. Um, those are in chrome. And then I got the, I do want to use the, the blue <clears throat> red line cranks that I had. You know, this is the ones that were powder coated that I was going to use on the Skyway. And then we ended up, you know, they, they built or they made a red pair that I also bought and I thought the red matched better. Yeah. So I think, but no, this is I nice. think that's going to look pretty killer. This is nice. Yeah. yeah. So definitely these cranks. Um, I also had these grips kind of like, I don't know why I bought these a while ago. I'm not sure what for. Kind of like I bought parts the last yeah, time. Yeah. We just yeah. kind of like, you know, anyway, bought these. So this might be on the bars. Um, I bought the white seat. I just, it was on sale someplace. <laughs> I don't know if like Planet or BMX Guru, somebody had it for mm. like 20 bucks. Oh, yeah, it was okay. like 19 bucks. Okay. And so I bought it thinking that, you know, like I need a softer seat. Yeah, you do. So like, I was thinking Monza, that could go on the Monza. Yeah. Or maybe it might work on this one, but it looks yellow. Well, take them off Look, of that background right? then. Like, like, you think it's that? I, maybe, I don't know. Okay, turn. Does that look any better? No. <laughs> <laughs> Still look kind of yellow, yeah? Yeah, it does. So maybe that's why this bugger was cheap. Was Get, because it was old stock. Yeah. I don't know. Sure something. What, you know I what know. I could do is I could get this reupholstered. You could and do like a, you know, a cleaner white, get rid of the GT. Yeah. And then see if maybe they can put the race ink. I don't know. Hmm. Even if it's just white, like I need cushion. So I don't know. I kind of like that. Yeah. But yeah, you never graduate to Oscars yet. Yeah. I, I'm not with the Brooks family and Kashi Max old school. Like Bruh. I can't do that just yet. Old school, man. But yeah. So anyway. Um, wheels, as far as wheels go, I am talking Ooh. to um, Owl Wheelworks. I think his name is Tom, and he's the one that builds wheels for Mike at Fat Lip. And that is his name. Yeah. So Dude, I, I, I sorry, I'd forget your name, bro. I know I met you. <laughs> yeah, we met him, we met him at the show. Really nice then, guy. Yeah, super nice guy. He's super cool. And um, yeah, I don't know, like if. What if, do you want to do? If he what do you actually think? remembers? I actually reached out to Tom a while ago. Yeah. To build me a wheel set for the for the Monster Quad. Oh. But he was at that time he was busy with some stuff and he he was like, oh, hit me up a little bit later and then I never did. But uh, but yeah. So anyway, he, I I told him what we're doing. Told him I want to go with white and blue. Mm. I'm thinking of the Sun Rhino Light in blue. Mm. With maybe white spokes. White spokes might look kind of nice. Not bad. Does anybody make, have you ever seen a white pair of rims other than um, mags? No. Because that's what I was also thinking. If no, someone made like a white aluminum rim. You know, anything is possible with powder coating. True. But I don't know how that would, hand, that would hold up to like brakes and brake pads and I don't know. But True. I'm not sure. So probably a blue wheel set with i don't want to go too bougie on this bike though you know what i mean like i don't want to go too crazy that is wrong answer already <laughs> guys <laughs> it ain't happening you know this thing can get bullseye and then paddles you know I, and, I am like, wearing the billet bmx hat for a reason guaranteed this bike gonna get that oh, paddles man. i reached out to them and we are talking about putting all billet bmx stuff on this oh it this looks bike. sick yeah i was thinking of their rounded pedals with the yeah. white cage not the white cage the white the white platform uh -huh. blue cage uh -huh. um their stem c post clamp and then i was gonna go put the night bike company yeah have um, to ufo you have racket. to like George God. at Night Bike Company. I can, I'm like so stoked that I have a bike now. This is my first American bottom bracket. 
That's right. You're not European <laughs> now. So I can't wait to uh, put that UFO um, bottom bracket on there. Wow. So yeah, I'm super stoked. As far as brakes go, I don't know yet. I'm not bullseye. sure. Bullseye. I don't know. I like the bullseye um, calipers. Mm. I like the Paul lever, but yeah, I don't know. Are they I'm considered not... long throw or short throw? Don't know. Because if you decide to buy the Paul lever, mm. then you know it'd be nice if you knew what the throw was on that, so you not throw the whole, you know, throw the whole thing off. <laughs> <laughs> It does make a difference. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I I'm mean, not sure. Did you notice this internal cable router? I've been staring at this when you was talking. You cannot see on the other side, but the race ink has internal cable routing on the other side, which is interesting. So did they send like covers? Look, there's like a cover. Okay. Yeah, there's two covers. And then also, I don't know if you knew about, about this with the racings in the back though. Look how wide this dropout is. Yeah. So you need to have like, there's an adapter and billet, their chain tensioners have the, they have one special for the racing. Yeah. Why did, why did they do that? I don't know. I don't know if it's. What is the, the. That thing is huge. The thing. Yeah. I mean, like if you look at it, like it's like way bigger than. Yeah. Than See. other one, like. Oh, it's beefy. So you kind of need like an adapter. And they give you an adapter, like racing gave an adapter, or uh -huh. you can buy the chain tensioners from billet that uh -huh. are meant for the, so that's what I'm probably going to do is just do that. Oh man. You know, the thing with white is, um, I told you about mine when I was messing around with my gearing mm. and I wasn't paying attention and I cinched the cranks in Oh. and my sprocket, I go right here. Oh, and it nicked. So said baptize already guarantee uh -huh. here. And the last time the tire had rubbed here. That's true. <laughs> that is true. With the white, there's no way that you can hide that. So, wow. Good job. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see what we can do with this one. If you guys got suggestions on what we can put on here to not, again, I don't want to, I don't want to spend a ton of money on this, but I, I do want to possibly sell it. Oh, like, so my thought is wow. because I kind of keep buying bikes I you could so look you got a big garage no dude. no i cannot like Just my wife the cars is gonna kill me if i if i take over the garage so <laughs> and you got to take the, the the monza you need to take that 24 monza like i have that monza what if now like ride them again hi it needs to go to your house <laughs> it needs to go to your house before this bike is finished that that bike needs to go to your house son of a gun um but anyway, yeah, if you guys got suggestions on, on parts that we can use that is not going to break the bank, then let us know. But I am seriously going to consider like, you know, once this bike is done, selling it so that we can use that money to like then fund the next bike. Because I think that's, I enjoy that. Like, I don't know about you, but no, I just enjoy I building bikes. I, well, yeah, I, I honestly, I enjoy building them with you and we filming them and then, you know, it's, it's fun. I mean. Yeah, but I just I, we it's, can't keep we can't keep them like there's just <clears throat> I, I, I don't have the funds to just keep buying bikes and just having all these bikes that we're not going to ride. Like I already feel bad. The bikes that I do have, I don't all ride. Like I finally rode the Monza, the, the Chrome Monza that I fully redid. Yeah, took that on, on a ride for the first time. Yeah. In a while. Where did you go over here? Um, what did I do with that one? We did. Cause your truck. Yeah, I did. I, yeah, my truck was in here. So That's we why. just, we just did like, was just around here. Oh, okay. Our normal ride. But I rode that for the first time in a long time. Wow. I got the Skyway. I got the Supercross and the Supercross is not even in my, where my other bikes are. It's in my office. Cause right. I just want to have room. Wow. So I'm thinking like if, if this goes well, maybe we sell it. And then that, you know, if anybody out there is interested and you want to buy one of the bikes that we, that we built up. You know, we won't mark it up like crazy. Pretty much whatever, whatever we put into it, mm. you know, we can, you know, figure out a price for that. And then the only tricky thing is shipping. Like shipping yeah. from Hawaii is ridiculous. But, um, you know, I don't know. Let me know if that is something that you guys might be interested in. Oh, headset. I did buy a headset though. What kind? 
It's from Race Inc. It's a Botima. Oh, okay. So it's out. I thought, you know, keep with the Race Inc. Botima it works with them. Yeah. You know, they also yeah. have Botima forks. I didn't buy the. I didn't get the Botima forks. But I thought, ah, oh, the headset. They have a really nice black or silver. I got the silver. Okay. So I thought, you know, we'll keep this by chrome blue and white. Yeah, try to take out black. So I definitely want to get different stickers made for this. Wow. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Yeah, like Tyler loves his bike. He says that this is, and in fact, Tyler bought another one. Did he? He bought one from Planet. Because Planet matched their price. Mm. So you can buy a, a racing right now from Planet for $2.99. So um, what, what does it cost to ship? Is it free shipping in if you, so 48? For Planet, so for Planet, 48. It's free. It is free if you, pay th if you spend 300 or more. Mm. Okay. So if he, he pretty much will get free shipping because he, you know, as long as he throws one more thing in his cart, he'll pretty much get that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but he's going to be building one kind of at the same time. So I told him, dude, you should make some videos. We can kind of like, he should. you know, compare. And, he totally yeah. should. Because he used to do that before. Well, there so, you go then. Wow. Yeah. So that's the Race Inc. Uh, that's our next build coming out of most likely Bernie's garage. <laughs> um, we're looking forward to getting back in the garage and working on bikes again. And again, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on parts that we should use, you know, other than what we already kind of talked about, um, let us know. Give us some suggestions. Yeah. And put that in the comments and uh, we'll see what happens. And then if you're interested in buying this bad boy when we're done, Hit us up. And let yeah. us know. We'll see what we can. Can we go and sign them the frame? <laughs> no. Nah, I wouldn't want to mess up that frame. I do want to get a Bernie's Garage like sticker, a small one, that maybe we can put on, on any build we do. Mm. You know? Yeah. You know, like a, how bike shops will put their sticker. Right, right, right. So we just make a small one, you know, that's not crazy big. Yeah. And then we can just put that on the bike somewhere and, you know. Wow. That's our mark. Or building whatever and then whoever buys it can hang them on their wall and be like <laughs> right? don't don't hang bikes on your wall go ride them go ride them you know what for real yeah ride them but not to say anything is a, is wrong with no a bike on your wall if you no. want to do that go right ahead but i think for us if we're gonna spend a thousand two thousand dollars on a bike like kind of want to ride it that's my opinion and, and that's why i won't build a 20. Right? I don't think either of us will ever build a 20 inch. No. Because we just can't ride a 20 anymore. We're just. I mean, I probably old. could, but I. I know more condition. Yeah, we could, but then. Yeah. It's not comfortable. It's just not comfortable. Unless you get them all the way up the seat. Yeah, but even then, like the, the handle. I don't know. Well, you man. call it at me. I just would not. I, I think I, I'd I, only grow like this think, much from high school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of just done with 20 inches, so uh, definitely 26 and above. Even 24 is not too bad, like the Monza. Yeah, the 24, I can ride that. Yeah, you did fine on the ride, right, with that? My very first ride. Yeah. Yeah. Your first in the rain. Out, in the rain. Oh, bro. Yeah. yeah. If you guys watch that series, thank you guys so much. Um, you know, we, it, was a, it was a beast to edit all those videos. See, and I told you guys, hey, this guy, he do all the work. I just was, show up. It was a beast to edit those. And I'm actually, the one I'm working on right now is this when we, when I did the ride out to um, that BMX track on Oahu. Oh, oh. And even that one is kind of For a real. beast. Yeah. So I'm almost done with that one. That's going to drop pretty soon. Sweet. But um, yeah, we'll see what, what this. I am curious, is. like, um, so what's the top two? Spec. That's a good question. I don't even know any specs on this bike. They never send. They did not send anything. I have I have information on my computer mm. what it is. But interestingly enough, Race Inc. Not sure why they don't have like specs that tell you okay you need a blank size you know seat post a Damn. blank size seat post clamp. It's an American bottom bracket. They they don't tell you that stuff. Even this, they is have the, all the specs on like what is, is the angles. Yeah, you know 
how long the tubes are and yeah. the angles and they have tons of that stuff but then i need stuff i wonder if it's like full-on old school like this is old school this is old school i wonder if they did the seat posts i don't know diameter as well which I, but then this is remember. weird. Yeah, That's, that this is, is not. This is not old no, school. No, that is not. That is. There's gotta be. I know there's a reason. There's definitely a reason why racings have have this. And if you know what that is, drop that in the comments and let us know. Because there's there's a reason. I just don't know what it is. This is nice to actually see this thing in real life. Yeah, it's a nice frame. It's a nice frame set. It's light. I'm sure I like it the is. Internal routing. I think that makes that makes it look super clean. Yeah, yeah. You know, wow. But it's gonna be interesting when we gotta thread this through. You better go do some homework. We're gonna yeah. have to like figure out. Remember, to, to I am not. I'm not a bicycle um, <laughs> professional mechanic, so it's like you what? guys as professional as I need. Bro. What coat hang? I don't know. I don't know. I know you. I know Park Tools makes a makes an internal thing with a magnet oh yeah and then you, but then you got to drag a magnet i wouldn't want to drag a magnet all the way on the outside of my bike but i don't know maybe it may, may not be too bad you just gotta like hey i know turn it we we'll ask calvin from park tools <laughs> <laughs> that could be something yeah park tools that'd be that'd be awesome to get them to watch any of our stuff but cool Right on, bro. All right. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, consider liking and subscribing. And uh, stay tuned. This is going to be a fun one to build. And uh, we'll see where it goes. All right? Cool. All right. Until the next one. Take care of one another. Be safe. Aloha. Aloha.